What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in the game of Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube and I stream on Twitch almost as often. You can check my page for the upcoming schedule if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me for today's episode. We're going to be playing good old fashioned free for all progressive world dom on Overworld, we have a five-player game with one AI, and I am in the fourth position settings for this game. We're doing World Domination on Overworld, playing a ranked game on my main account, auto setup, 60-second turn, expert AI, and we start with one progressive cards, balance, blitz, dice with alliance, fog, blizzards, and portals off. And the bot activity is automated. In the first position, we have Melda Kakadia from Norway, playing as red. In the second position, we have 11 Kooks from Mexico playing as blue. In the third position, we have Gustavo from Argentina playing as purple. I'm in the fifth position. This is my main account, but we cannot see our own stats in game. Red is over attacking. In position five, we have General Sari 14770 from Spain. Sari playing as green. And in the final position, we have an expert AI playing as black. Okay. Um, so I think a general three position play works blue is also somewhat over attacking all right so here's the question do i try and snag this bonus looks like blue wants this middle position so here's how the bonuses work on overworld you have trigon's maze of three for four moonstone force of four for five the rest of the bonuses you can't really hold because they're massive desert is 10 forest is nine mountains is nine and seagrog's fortress is plus eight i think my intuition to take bonuses in this context is to avoid them, which is how I'm going to play it. Um, I'm going to want to be in three places, but I'm also going to try and want to figure out where everyone else wants to be. So if purple's here. Okay. So I have one, two, and three actually looks pretty good. And this two is probably going to survive for a while as well. So I think I'm going to move out just in case the bot decides to go ham on this bonus. So I'm going to sit with three four stacks and two exterior twos. And if I can occupy a fourth position, I will take it. I really like this start, though. This is great. So green goes ham on red. Red starts looking fishy early. There we are. And we're, uh, we're currently live on Twitch with 120 of my friends hanging out. I haven't done enough World Dawn Progressive since the update, so we're going to see, um, likely we're going to see one or two of my opponents in this game be quite good. Yeah, you see, I, I did figure that bot was going to add inside the Trigon's Maze bonus, so does the bot try and take it? No. The bot decides to hit Pete Singles and moves out of the bonus Blue was in. Right. All right, this is great. This is a very aggressive bot. Sorry, 120 of my friends and three enemies. Yes, there's always one or two of the enemies that shows up, aren't they? Yeah, red bought it already. Yeah. Okay, so we have two AIs in this game. Red player um, lost their chance in early sitch. Okay, so what happens here then? Blue doesn't take the bonus. Sits with a really large single position. Blue's playing the aggressive single point strat. Purple's going to start taking some damage on red. No, they move into the Trigon's Maze bonus. And roll a 5v2. This is good for me. Purple's going to fight with the black bot. Moves that two in. Misses the point. Okay. This is great. This is great. Hey, thank you, Shapem. Shapern? For the... Shapem for the prime sub. Thank you so much. Um... I am really grateful for the support. It's it's difficult sometimes to track while you're trying to play a video game. Okay. 
I'm going to take one hit on green. Green's going to get an extra troop, though. I kind of have to let them without without showing my intentions to, to keep them small. So I have four positions we've kind of established. And looks like green is going to be able to... They really want that bonus. Okay. So this is actually good, right? Green is going to effectively put themselves in a single position as well. It's going to take them a while to take this bonus. Upside for green, though, green's going to hold a lot of territory. Which will make taking the plus eight easier. They don't get it next turn, though. Other than, yeah, see, this is why you wouldn't put a four into a bonus a bot was trying to take. Green bot is fairly aggressive. And we see these bonuses act as lightning rods to the players, right? Purple wants it. Blue wants it. Red is now a bot. So we're playing with two bots in this game. Very familiar circumstance for the old Peatman. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to be as inoffensive as possible. and sit in these four positions. I'm not entirely sure what blue is up to. <laughs> Definitely know what fucking purple is up to, though. Uh-huh. Purple takes that bonus. Alright, I'm still in four places. We're expecting this two to die. I'm fine to let purple player have that. Maybe either of the bots on this border break. Maybe blue breaks. We don't know. Yippee pippy Pete! I stumbled on your risk YouTube channel. I've been addicted to your videos. Finally. Get to catch your stream. Cheers, my fellow Canadian. Keep up the good work. Welcome, Yippee. It is a blessing to make this show and to have it be well received. I'm glad you enjoy, man. Oh, now I got to move that four. Okay, boss, black bot's not going to interrupt purple. Looks like purple holds. That's fine. Four troops won't sink my game, but I will have to move that stack. Oh, maybe red bot interrupts purple. That five rolls the two? It does. Excellent. So reminder again why you don't go for bonuses in progressive. These automated AIs have often been my friends. Red sitting on 17 territories. Chris, Rocky, hi Pete, hi chat. How does the ranking system work in risk? Are you still getting rank points for getting second and third place? It depends on how low you are. If you are a beginner, a novice, an intermediate, you get a lot of rank points for coming in second. At some point, after the Grandmaster's Threshold, you will start ranking down even if you get second place. So, oh, okay, that's a big tell. Purple sets early to take this bonus. Purple player would really, really like that bonus. They insist. Great. So they chose to use the equity of their early trade to try and hold a plus four. That's really good to know. And now I'm going to get away from that position. I also have to make two attacks because I don't want to be the only way for 
a green seven. You see this green seven on the bottom? The only way that green seven can go is through my five. So we're not going to put ourselves in the line of fire. And unfortunately, I have to make two attacks. So I do so. This is a pretty good situation to get a kill on blue. But blue might finally take the bonus. So I take my fourth card. Yeah, no shocker. Green would like to go for a plus eight. So there's a three point, four point guard. One, two, three, four. And he has it. He has that plus eight. Strongly. So the best thing that could happen is for green to get removed on this side of the board. There, B.O., do you find it that opponents target you more when you have a premium border as opposed to a plain-looking avatar? Yeah, I turn off all obvious cosmetics when I am playing. I try to make it look as if I am a noob or a generic account as much as possible. Yeah. And I also changed my risk name a ton because obviously there's a very high profile associated with this account. And it wouldn't surprise me at all if I got targeted, right? I should get targeted. It's literally the name of the show. Purple gets to hold the plus four. but they get the worst possible equity from the trade. And they go bad neighbor. I love it. We're seeing a lot of more traditional style play here. Um, opponents going for bonuses. Um, opponents breaking other opponents. Sure. This is good. Okay. So I'm going to remove blue's exterior position. I get away from purple who's holding a bonus. I get away from the sea lanes in case green wants to dance around and retaliate. I'm in four good positions, two of them in the no man's land in the desert, one in the center of the map, which will hopefully have kill lines on blue when necessary. I didn't instigate a war between purple and green. I'm out of everyone's way. 24 troops. I'm holding five cards. Green has a lot more troops than me because they have a lot more territories. They've been putting in five a turn. They're going to reciprocate the punch. Roll six V four. Lose the roll. Now they need to get a card. A card off of black too. Okay, black is sitting on 13 troops and four cards. If black doesn't set, I can kill them and take five cards. Black sets, gets the six. Here's where the game is starting to spice up. So we, we are now in the mid game. Turn six begins. I'm happy with my opener. Good positions. Four reasonably good positions. Red getting six for having 18 territories and the plus eight trade. That breaks purple. Yes. Yes. Red also just occupying so much of the board. Blue's in a single position. They will set and get the 10. I get the 12. They don't realize they set and get the 10 yet. They are dealing with, oh, why do I have five cards? Why am I forced to trade? I think blue is, is quite new, based just based on the fact that they're putting themselves in a single position. And they're just not taking that bonus, and I don't know why. Moves the 16 into the 13? Yeah, okay. Blue's playing the single stack strat. All right, purple retakes, I think. Love you, Pete. Love you too, Inky Pie. <laughs> I love you too. Yeah, roll 7v3. 
split guard. Removes Green's exterior position. Wise decision. Green is essentially in one part of the board. So is blue. I set in and I get the 12. I think I strengthen all my positions equally, but I, I focus on the main one. I'm going to have sevens and my, my central position is going to be slightly stronger um, because this is the one I'm going to use to kill blue. Kind of dance around the red bot a little bit. Okay, holding three cards. I do have a set on three. Green's going to set in and get the 15. They could go Add pop, 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 and break purple. If they do, purple's the fish. Looks like my intuition is correct. They dance all the way around the outside of this board and eviscerate purple's position. If purple doesn't have a set on three, they are fucked. And pulls back says, I want that plus eight, and I'm going to use my 15 trade to ensure that I get it. I have good kill lines on black. I have good kill lines on blue, and I have a set. I should probably kill blue because it makes sense to kill a human player over a bot. But we're talking a difference of 10 troops. If I kill the bot, I don't set in turn. But I would put in the 20. Let's see if any of my opponents set. Purple's weak. Purple's quite weak. I think they're the fish. Yeah. If I just add everything to this six, I get the kill on purple. 18. I think that's the play. And they'll have four cards, right? I'll kill purple. Minimum number of troops. Get four cards. Actually, I have to hit this too. That's fine. I can split off the 14. Yeah, I got the kill on purple easy. Blue finally takes a bonus. What do you do, Gustavo? You poked the bear and you got poked. Now you get eaten. Twenty one troops. And he breaks green. He breaks green. I love it. Okay. I kill purple, take four cards. Good situation now. I'll be ending my turn on five cards, but I will be in too many places. I don't think my two remaining human opponents will be able to kill me. So it looks really good. Having that set on three, this is the exact moment in the game you would want that set on three. Right? The, tw the 20 trade. Oh, it's closer than I'd like it to be. Oh, no. Can I get that 14 there somehow? No, because this blocks it off. Oh, no, I lose. Okay. This is going to be real bad now. Green gets fed the kill of purple. Four cards. I'm two turns away from a trade. Oh, that 17 is going to push through my three. He didn't even have to do that. He could have got the kill without destroying my seven. <laughs> oh, please miss. No, he's got it. Damn it. Purple dies.
Oh, don't hit me. I fed you a kill, bro. <laughs> I wonder what happens. Yeah, that the break doesn't surprise me. What else happens though? Maybe green doesn't have a set and I can clutch kill it? Or not green, uh black. I don't think so. I think I'm just fucked. I think I'm just fucked. For feeding him that kill, green player absolutely destroyed me. Okay, so red sets. Watch the 24 roll my 17. No. Gonna hit my seven? Okay. That seven is hiding inside of a bot right now. A mm. lot of bot material. Green is in an overwhelmingly strong position. Blue's not gonna help. Blue's gonna sit on that bonus. remain in a single position. I think blue fundamentally doesn't understand how to play. I don't know, guys. It, it looks quite dire. I mean, we're in not die mode, so not dying is the new living. Green sets and gets the 35. What happens here? Makes a piece of the board. Doesn't quite kill black. Oh my God. <laughs> Decides to randomly roll through a 30 second. He does kill black. He gets it just in the nick of time. Okay, black bot dies. Now what happens? Now he gets the kill on blue. Yeah, blue says well played. I think I get third. I think he kills me. He kills blue now, then he kills me, then then he kills red. Absolute feed. I totally fed this guy. I wonder how my rolls were. Run out of time. And just enough time. Okay, I get third. I die next. Thank you, Alucard, for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. All right. Yep. Set up nicely to kill me. I'm two turns away from a trade. I have zero chance of recovery. I'm gonna hit my 16. And hits red's 12. And gets my 16 just in time. Okay. I'm going to have to run around this board. Does that eight go into my four or his? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck sakes. Oh, it is so dire. 
It is so dire. Looked really good there for a minute. Thanks, bot. <laughs> it's my fucking seven two. Ah! <laughs> yeah, of course it does. Of course it does. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, you know what, guys? Sometimes you can't win them all. So, GG, I suppose. <laughs> Oy vey. Yep, that's the game. I get third. Thank you, Zericaptor, for the Prime Sub 2. Thank you, thank you. Yep. That was very funny. The bot decided to fucking hit me too. Just, you know, punish me for my insolence. There we go. Yes. Yes. Hey, thank you, JTN2002, for the biddies. Thanks, man. I'm going to watch Green very, very slowly kill me and just get me right in the nick of time. One... Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, I die. Homie, homie, you gotta kill me. <laughs> You gotta kill me. What are you doing? Letting me live. That is really not smart. <laughs> no, don't let me live. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Guys. I mean. <sighs> Shrug. I should be dead. I should very, very much be dead. But I am not dead. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is this game? What just happened? What just happened, guys? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is going to be a very spicy YouTube video. <laughs> what do you call this? Come back from one territory? He should have killed me. Maybe he got distracted by the good game, like being a gentleman. Oh, come back from one true. Jesus. All right, now we're going to see a very long protracted period where I grind him out slowly. He wanted to say good game back and ran out of time. I know, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm leaving all of his stacks locked. 
generally speaking. So that he can't retaliate, but I still get to take as much of it as possible. All right. So he's got five cards, 102. I have the whole board and 64. The sets are at... Green is never going to say GG again. The sets are at 70. So he gets the 65. He's 133 stack. He can't kill me because he can't move fast enough. So a lot of people misunderstand my... Oh, and he, and he just quit. Yeah, he clicked to fortify. Wow. Okay. A lot of people misunderstand kind of the way I view these situations. So I'm going to try to clarify, and I, I feel like I'm probably not as good a communicator as I think I am. Um, just to remind everyone, I've been very um, adamant about advocating that they should absolutely make speed across platforms equal. I don't want to win like this. I don't want to be able to win like this, but... Because there are stakes, right? This is a ranked game, very low stakes, but because there are stakes and I am going to play to win, I'm not going to not take the win. So absolutely everything you do in a ranked game or in a game with any stakes, um, as long as it is legal, right? As long as it's not cheating by definition, um, in my opinion, is fair game. So if they made a system that was fair across platforms, this is... A very egregious example of it, if they of, of how unfair the system is. But if they made a system that was fair across platforms, I would 100% lose this game every time. And that is what should occur. Now that said, I take the wins as they are. Unfortunately, this guy can't beat me. The board is just too big and he isn't fast enough. So I hit everything except his stack. Now he's down to a single position. So this is where the grind moves to its next stage of iteration. Point my stack right at him. And we've caught up. We now have the lead in terms of troops. And he sets. Gets the 75. 169 to 136 hits my stack. 138 to 85. So he still outnumbers me by one and a half times. But I hold the entire board, so I will grind this one out. And just further to my point about speed, I would like to see um, all speed limitation removed from the game, right? I would like to be able to move as fast as I can think, and I think that would be the greatest test of skill in the game. Either that or remove the concept of turn timers completely, like something that Tyler suggested.
I use Pete as my background sound for getting laid, so thank you, Pete. Kind of a dick move he gave me second you gave if the emote on doing that, and then you repay him, so... Huh? What are you talking about? Look at the luck. Just a lucky, lucky guy. We are nearly done. You can't set. Hey, Adam Daniels with the gift sub. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. 10 tier one subs. I appreciate it, sir. I appreciate the support so much. Thank you. Poor green, man. Is he botted? This is a bot now. Yeah. Sorry, General. Sorry. You should have, you should have killed me. Yeah, this is going to be a, this is going to be a very fun YouTube video. If, if folks make it to the end, <laughs> they're going to see that point where I'm like, oh, I'm for sure dead. And then somehow this shit happens. All right. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, because I am interested in getting better at the game of risk. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me, defeating one novice, one beginner and two intermediates. And we are sitting at 27, 760 in FFA rank points. I haven't played a ton of ranked um, since the update because I've been spending a lot of time focused on making a better quality show for you all. I'm very happy to see that the leaderboard is open and if and when I feel the need to prove something to you all again in terms of ranking in the game of Risk, I will do so. But for right now, my focus and my attention is more on making this show the best show it can be. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to it. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I stream on Twitch almost as often. And if you would like to support me, there's a number of ways. I have a Patreon. I have membership on the YouTube. And you can join my Discord and get notifications for when I go live on Twitch and catch the next stream. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I love you. For all of you on the path to world domination, good games, and good luck.